these two short walks pass through coniferous forest to visit the remains of the Bearland Iron Mine. Whilst these woods are now peaceful, between 1854 and 1880, they were a hive of activity with over 12,000 tonnes of iron ore mined. Both walks start from the Forestry England car park at the entrance to Chargo Wood, four miles east of Wedding Cross along the B3224. The third of a mile long walk to the engine house is along a purpose-built accessible path that starts beside the car park entrance. Winding between the trees, it crosses over the main forest tracks twice before ascending gently up to the remains of the engine house. The rest of this video provides you with a virtual tour of the route so you can gauge the suitability of the path for yourself. This was the centre of the mining operations. An aerial cableway carried ore to here from mines half a mile away so it could be transferred onto railway wagons. Once you've viewed the buildings, return the same way. The second walk to the chimney viewpoint is along the forestry track heading downhill from the end of the car park. Midway along, a path leads off a track and goes down to the chimney, but this is very steep. The bottom of the path is one in three and has a loose surface, so it's not suitable for even the toughest mobility scooters. Instead, continue along the main forestry track and turn around when you can see the chimney across the valley. This was built to draw foul and poisonous gases out of the mine that ran deep into the hill below. Beyond here, the path gets much steeper, so we suggest you turn around and retrace your steps back to the car park. To discover many more walks on Exmoor suitable for all abilities, including strolls and rolls routes at the nearby Dunkery Beacon and Wimblebore Lake, visit www.exmoorwalks.org.